let us study some biological methods for the control of some bacterial and fungal diseases of crops. Ferment the cow urine for one week in an earthen pot. Mix 50 to 100 milliliters of this in one liter of water and spray. In another method, mix one liter of cow urine and one liter of fermented buttermilk with eight liters of water and use it for spraying. Otherwise, mix 300 milliliters of sweet flag root extract and one liter of cow urine in 8.7 liters of water and use it for spraying. To prepare sweet flag extract, soak 400 grams of sweet flag root powder in two liters of water and keep it for three hours. Then, filter it for the extract. Add one liter of cow urine with 10 liters of water and spray the solution to any crop. This acts as a source of micronutrient and pest repellent. It can control some diseases also. We can use some plant extracts for biological control of pests and diseases. First one is the neem seed extract. 3 kilograms of fresh neem seed or 5 kilograms of old neem seed is enough for one acre. Pound the seed finely and soak it in an earthen pot in 10 liters of water. Cover the mouth with a cloth and keep it for three days. Neem seed extract is ready after filtering this mixture. Azadiractin content is less in very fresh and very old seeds. Put 50 milliliters of neem seed extract in one liter of water if the pest population is less and 100 milliliters extract if the infestation is severe. 60 to 70 liters of this solution is enough for one acre. Add 10 milliliters of soft soap solution for one liter of the spray solution. Detergent is not present in this soap. Crush the soap and soak it in water for one day to get the soap solution. The second one is neem leaf extract. Five kilograms of neem leaf is enough for one acre. Crush the leaves and tie it loosely in a cloth. Soak it in 10 liters of water overnight. Then filter it for neem leaf extract. Put 50 to 100 milliliters of this extract in one liter of water, depending on the pest population. Add 10 milliliters of soft soap solution for one liter of the spray solution. 60 to 70 liters of solution is enough for one acre. Now let us prepare neem cake extract. Five kilograms of neem cake is enough for one acre. Pound the neem cake and tie it in a cotton cloth. Soak it in 10 liters of water for three days. It will give seven to eight liters of extract after squeezing the bag of the cake. Put 50 to 100 milliliters of this extract in one liter of water. Spray it with 10 milliliters of soap solution. Soil application of neem leaves, seeds and cake is also a popular practice. This controls soil nematode, termite and soil-borne diseases. These are good organic manures also. Use of neem oil is also common in organic farming. 1,200 to 1,800 milliliters of neem oil is sufficient for spraying one acre of crop. Add 20 to 30 milliliters of neem oil and 10 milliliters of soap solution for one liter of water. Stir it well and spray immediately. Neem oil gets separated from water and floats on the top after some time. It is better to use power sprayers for spraying neem oil solution. Neem oil gives good result before one year. Ginger garlic and chili extract. For spraying one acre, half kilogram of fresh ginger, one kilogram of garlic, and half kilogram of green chili is enough. Crush all these to make it a paste. Mix it in seven liters of water and filter. Use this extract at the rate of 50 to 100 milliliters per liter of water and add 10 milliliters of soap solution. Spraying fresh solution gives better result. It may be kept for a maximum of three days.
Jatropa leaf extract. 5 kilograms of leaves is enough for one acre. Crush the leaves and keep it in a pot with 10 liters of water for one week. Stir the mixture once in a day and cover the mouth with a cloth. Filter this and spray the extract at the rate of 50 milliliters per liter of water. In another method, put 1 kilogram of cow dung in 10 liters of water and mix thoroughly. Filter it through a mesh and use it for spraying. This is useful for the control of insect pests. Five Leaves Extract Here, the plants with latex, like giant milkweed, cactus or jatropha, bitter plants like neem, crete, jello or dronapushpi, plants not browsed by animals like malbar nut, plants with good smell like five-leaved chaste tree, holy basil or papaya, and plants not affected by pests and diseases like morinda or railway creeper are used for this extract preparation. Take one kilogram leaves of any one plant from each group. Crush the leaves, add two parts of water and keep it in a pot. Add one liter of cow urine and 100 grams of asafoetida. Cover the mouth of the pot tightly. Stir the mixture once in a day and keep it for one week. Spraying this solution will control the pests and diseases. 50 milliliters of this extract is sufficient for one liter of water. This extract may be kept up to 30 days. Asafoetida in this extract prevents flower drop. Now, let us prepare boiled extract of herbs. Collect the whole plant without root for this purpose. Cut it into small pieces. 2 kilograms of plant is enough for 1 acre. Add 8 liters of water for 2 kilograms of plant and boil it till the extract evaporates to 2 liters. Mix 300 milliliters of this boiled extract with 9.6 liters of water and 100 milliliters of soap solution. Spray the solution to the crop. This can be kept for some time, but stir it once in a day. Spraying this boiled extract with power sprayer is effective against hoppers, earhead bug and whitefly. Spraying in the morning before 10 o'clock gives better result. Boiled extract of crete plant is effective against all types of larvae. For aphids and other sucking pests, use tough weed extract. Boiled extract of Malabar nut plant can control fungal diseases. Let us prepare a broad spectrum pesticide. Take 100 liters of cow urine, 3 kilograms of neem leaves or cake, 3 kilograms of papaya leaves, and 3 kilograms of pongamia leaves in a plastic barrel. Keep it under a shade for 15 days. Use this extract at the rate of 5 to 10 milliliters or even more with 1 liter of water and spray to any crop. This works against most of the pests and diseases.